All right, so I have a stack of 10 games I want to talk about for the Nintendo 64. We'll start off with the lighter ones and work our way to the better or more anticipated games. First off, we've got Wave Racer 64. This is an absolutely amazing game. And what we're going to do is go on price charting and eBay sold listings, compare the prices, how they were according to price charting a year ago, how they are now and we'll hop over to eBay sold listings and see how much these games are going for currently within the market. Starting off, we're going to go ahead and find it on their website. And first off, right away, we see that the game price from last year is about $12 loose and it's roughly about 12 to 13 dollars loose here on price charting. So let's go over and look for a wave race. 64 and I'm gonna do all loose prices because there's no reason to try to search for a uh, complete in box because they're just so expensive and those prices can really range from all over the place but we're gonna go ahead and go down here and go and get sold listings here only want to do that and let's see there's a 10 a 12 uh, like a 10 to 12, uh, 4, 15, so yeah, about 12 to $13 is right where it needs to be. So the price on it has gone up maybe like a dollar since last year, which isn't bad and kind of makes sense, but nothing crazy. We're gonna move on to WWF No Mercy. This is an absolutely amazing wrestling game, so we definitely have to talk about it. It's a game that I feel like it's not too expensive. Oh, actually, it's a lot more expensive than I remember it, but that's perfectly okay. We're gonna go ahead and change this to maybe the last year. We could see that it was about $32, and it looks like it went up to almost $35, and then it's kind of settled down to around $30 right now. So uh, 30 bucks isn't that bad. So let's go ahead and hop over to eBay sold listings and see what we can find this for. Hopefully it keeps that, okay, yeah. So there's a 35 right off the bat, 22. That's actually a pretty good deal if it, somebody ended up finding that. 35, okay, so we're looking at about 35 to 40, realistically it seems, 34. There's a 40, so a 31. So yeah, I think it's actually a little bit higher than this loose price on price charting, maybe closer to 35, but that kind of makes sense. The market fluctuates pretty often. Then we've got moving on to D Donkey Kong 64. This was the very, very, very first game I ever played on my Nintendo 64. I would played like rental games and friends, but never actually on the one I owned. And this is the... It just takes me back to the day when I got this thing, and I absolutely loved it. First off, we're going to go ahead and see how much it's going for. It's going for around $27 loose, which is pretty good. It's actually fluctuated a little bit, but kind of came back to the same price. Last year, it was up to like 33 Then it came down all the way to about 22 which is a $10 gap, but then it's kind of settled about 27 here so let's go ahead and go to ebay sold listings and see what that is selling for and we've got a 17 which is a good deal if you're looking for it uh 25 there we got a 20 okay so it looks like 27 20 20 18 24 so it looks like the market's actually a little lower than price charting. It's around 20 to 22 maybe, whereas they were saying 27. So keep an eye out. You'll probably be able to find some good deals. But moving on, we've got Super Smash Brothers. Absolutely amazing game. If you don't have this in your collection, you would definitely need it. It's one of those games that's a ton of fun. Let's go ahead and pull it up on the Nintendo 64 so we don't have to scroll through a bunch of stuff, but we do have it here for $44. Let's go ahead and check out the historical graph. It was up to 50 last year, 52, then it sank way down to 36, even down to $29 at one point. And it looks like it's settling 43 to 45 on price charting. 
So let's go ahead and go over to eBay sold listings and look it up right there. So let's go ahead and fix that and we'll see how much it's going for. Uh, that one looks messed up. $38 for one that's got a messed up label, which is, oh, here's a good deal. Someone just picked this up and that is a really good deal. 39 bucks for that. A lot of these aren't really necessarily it. That one looks, oh, so this is a fake. We're gonna, ugh. keep an eye out. Don't get suckered by fakes. Here we've got one for 35, so... I'm looking at about 40, there's a 48, 49, 49, okay, so maybe like 40, 42, 43, okay, that one's probably pretty spot on there with price charting. Let's move on to GoldenEye007, absolutely amazing game, but it did release on a bunch of consoles this past year, so let's see if that changed the price of it at all. I'm not sure if it would, but it, it's got the potential to have affected it. Okay, so uh, it looked like it's at 35 last year and it's kind of gone down, down to 20, $20 at one point a little bit a few months ago, and it looks like it's come back around 25. But if we go back, it looks like the price over about five years is relatively about the same. So uh, 25 is probably what I would expect to find it on that. So let's go ahead and see GoldenEye007 on the Nintendo 64 on eBay to see what those prices are. 30, 26, we've got an 18. Um, that's an interesting bid though, so... This one's 30, we've got uh, 22, 18, so 22 is probably the closer price. Oh, some of these are bringing it up a little bit. 22 to 25 is right, so that's spot on there. But now we've got the stack of heavier hitters. And first off, we've got Mario Kart 64. This is the one that I have in my collection. It's a real board, but obviously the case and whatnot. If you haven't seen the channel, uh, I have a story about that, but Mario Kart 64, let's see how much this is going for. It looks like it's selling for around $42.50, but if we check it out, it has not really changed that much. The most it was was $47, and the lowest was $35, so that is a $10 gap, but it seems to be kind of roughly the same, so $43 is Probably what I'm gonna see over on eBay sold listing. So let's check that out. Oh, I spelled Mario Kart wrong. Let's fix that and then we will find one. There's one 35. That's pretty cheap if you're out there looking. That one's 30, but it is really messed up. So I could see why that. There's one that's probably spot on 30 or 44 bucks right there. This one looks fake. Uh, yeah. Keep an eye out for fake games. You don't want to get stuck with those. 45, again, fake game, fake game. Uh, fake game, fake game. Uh, it looks like if you're going to buy Mario Kart from eBay, you might want to do your research because there's a ton of fakes out there and I don't want you getting screwed over by people. So let's continue on to Paper Mario. This is the game that started the whole series off and is absolutely amazing. So let's go ahead and hop over to price charting and see what we can get this for. Paper Mario for the Nintendo 6. Ooh, $70. That's more than, ooh, look at that jump from 2020. It really boosted up, which is pretty cool. Look at that. So it was about 45, and now it's all the way up to about 70, which is crazy. At one point in 2022, it was $93. That's a huge price jump. Um, but in the last year, it's relatively stayed within $10 of each other. So 70 is probably not a bad price. Let's see if we can find it on eBay sold listings and see what the market value is there. Um, so first off, we're seeing some fake ones again, which kind of doesn't surprise me. This one looks kind of sketchy to me, 
But 75 bucks is kind of on market value. The, the game, okay, so here you go, 72, that's right on. Uh, this one's actually a cheaper version, uh, so that's pretty interesting at 58 but there was $12 of shipping, so it kind of gets you close to that price. $80 is a little much, so probably 70 is probably the price. 80 is not bad with shipping, I guess, if it's free shipping, so uh, it looks like 70, 70, 75 is probably the price for that. Now, let's go ahead and go to the games that are the best known. We've got Zelda Ocarina of Time right here. Absolutely amazing game. Definitely a game that you need to play if you haven't already. Uh, oops, I'm already spelling it wrong. Don't judge me. Okay, let's go ahead and find this on the 64 here. Okay, so it's only going for around $30, which kind of shocks me a little bit. The price maybe have, has fluctuated down a little. It was 43 in the last year and kind of is settling down at 30. So the price used to be a little bit higher, maybe like 35, but it's kind of dipping around here. So let's go ahead and hop over to eBay sold listings. We'll go ahead and go Zelda Ocarina of Time. If I could spell this right, it would be a lot easier, but it is what it is. Okay, that is not what I typed in, so let's just do this again. And let's go ahead, it's 65? Okay, so, but that's the collector's edition. The one right here that I have is just the gray one, so I'm gonna try to find a, there's a $30 one, okay, uh, 35. That one looks a bit sketchy though, so mm, I don't know if that one is legit or not. Uh, 37, okay, that's a little expensive, but kind of could make sense. Cheap, or er, uh, knockoffs right here. Uh, $40, we've got the special edition, so we're not going to look at those. More fake games. This one looks real, but it looks like it might have some wear on it, so maybe it's not, maybe it is. 28, so... Around 30 to 32 is probably what you're looking at. And then we're going to move on to Super Mario 64. What I think is the best game on the Nintendo 64, but you can comment down below and argue with me <laughs> if you want to on that, I guess. Um, but it is absolutely amazing. And it's going for $36, which is a little bit more than Ocarina of Time. But again, this one... There's so many copies of these two games that they pretty much stay pretty regular within about $10, but within the last year, it looks like this thing is staying within $5 of itself, so um, let's do 36 maybe to 30, 35 to 36 but we're definitely going to have to find some of these and see if the price on eBay sold listings is any different than that 36 we saw. There's a 35, a 32, but that one's messed up, so I'm not gonna count that one. We got 45, uh, that one looks fake to me, but we'll move on, I don't, I'm not gonna speculate, but it does look fake. 37, 28, so uh, let's see if we can find another few real ones. 38, but that one looks fake too, maybe it's the, pictures i don't know but some of these just look trashed 40 40 30 so 36 35 is probably the sweet spot but i saved the most expensive game on the list for last and that's conquer's bad fur day this one's going to be up there it's going to be fluctuating so i wanted to save it to last to see how ridiculous it is right now and it looks like it's 110 dollars and if you check this out from what was this, 20, 2006, it just has skyrocketed and gone crazy. Over the last year, it's been roughly within $20 of itself, 130 to 110 maybe, oh, it was down to 199 or to 99 at one point, so it is about a $30 difference in the last year, so keep an eye out for that if you're trying to pick this game up. But 110 feels like it's probably going to be right around the right angle. Maybe 115, maybe 120. But we'll have to see. Conger's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64. 115, but this is a beat copy. 120, 129, 120. 
86, that one's a little sketchy, so we're gonna ignore that one. 100, but it's beat up. This one's 50 somehow, I don't understand that. Anything probably under 90 is probably not real. But I think 110 may be a little, ooh, okay, maybe what I was gonna say is wrong. Oh, that's a fake one. So maybe 110, 120. I feel like if someone's trying to sell this game, they're probably going to list it for more than it's probably worth in hopes that someone will negotiate them down, but I think that's pretty interesting. So there we have it. The Nintendo 64 games have pretty much stayed kind of at the incline that they were before. Nothing's going way crazy, at least not that I looked up to. Some of these games were definitely well worth it, and some of them kind of shocked me with how the prices changed. But what do you think about these game prices? Comment down below. And if I missed any Nintendo 64 games you wish I would have talked about, leave those in the comments as well. Maybe I'll check them out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I never say that, but if you watch this this far, do it and you'll definitely enjoy all my other videos. But I'm gonna get out of here because I got some games to play on the PS5, but these games were definitely worth it and definitely well worth checking out. So check that video out if you haven't already, but honestly, I really enjoy the 64. It's a ton of fun. I love talking about it. Anything regarding it, I always am more than welcome to do. So if you got any ideas, comment those down below. But I'm getting out of here, so check that video out if you haven't already.